Electra celebrates getting a convention exclusive. Here's your look at the Gentle Giant Limited Marvel's Electra San Diego Comic Con 2020 exclusive. Electra celebrates the summer in her white outfit in this highly limited statue. Based on the variant cover artwork of Marvel Comics, Electra jumps for joy, sigh in hand, and stands approximately five inches tall. She comes packaged in a full color box with a numbered certificate of authenticity and is limited to 250 pieces worldwide. Before we get a closer look at the San Diego Comic-Con Electra, the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how tall the statue stands. Why am I waving my tape measure like that? We're going to take it right to the top of one of her sigh. By the way, the plural of sigh is not size. It's still sigh. Taking it to the very top, though, of one of her sigh, the statue stands 5.2 inches in height. Switching that quickly to centimeters, revealing that the statue limited release, yes, still stands 13.4 centimeters tall. And I'd like to thank the folks over at Diamond Select that took the time to send Electra my way. She was originally slated as a San Diego Comic-Con 2020 exclusive. Of course, things then ended up happening in 2020. But if you are looking to still pick this one up, originally she was slated with a 250 limited run. And she was at the time going for about $49.99. So she was about $50 or so. To come included with the statue, you do get yourself a trading card slash certificate of authenticity. The front represents the trading card. The back represents the certificate of authenticity, telling us that this is a limited edition animated style statue. Down below, you may also be able to see it's San Diego Comic-Con International 2020 exclusive. I mean, it's really nice depiction of the statue. We're going to go ahead and look more at that in a second. But flipping around to the back, yes, you do have your certificate of authenticity, indicating that Gentle Giant Limited has released an Electra animated style statue. And this one of a limited run of 250. This one happens to be 40 out of that 250 limited run. The statue depicts an animated styling of Electra leaping up in joy clad here in white instead of her traditional colors and she is standing on top of a display base just barely attached to that display base speaking of stands and display bases tilting it up very carefully underneath you can see it's manufactured by diamond select toys with four felt feet instead of rubberized feet making the corners or somewhat corners of a circle i know that's kind of impossible to do and then you've also got that 40 out of 250 release as I said, though, she is barely attached to the display stand. Clever that they did was paint this bottom of the base, the area of which her feet are barely touching. They painted the same color as the rest of the base. The base, as you can see, while sculpted nicely, doesn't have a really whole lot of extra color added to it. But I think in the case of this, you really don't want to make this stand too busy anyways. Then I feel it pulls a little bit of the eye away from the statue. Instead, you want to then be looking in on the base itself. So I'm glad it, they kept it to a nice dark black coloring. Getting a closer look at Electra, I feel as if there may have been one thing that broke on my statue. You see right down there, there's a little piece of unpainted surface. I almost feel as if there was a part that stuck out from here. Unfortunately, somewhere, I checked also in the packaging, there was nothing in the foam tray. There's no extra piece there, but I feel like there was a little piece probably like right here. So that's a bit of a shame that that broke off. Statues like this, though small in size, you will want to be super careful with these because they are a little bit more susceptible to breaking. I have been a big fan, though, of the animated styling of these characters. I've had actually probably about four or five of them in my collection right now. I really like to get on board and collect more of these. Uh, to be joyous would probably be the best way to describe Electra. She's got a huge smile. In addition to that, I really love, one thing I like about these animated characters is they had a whole lot of black panel lining added to them. And it's not just Electra here. All the statues we've looked at in the past have all had that familiar calling card, that dark black panel lining. You can see that her eyes are closed, nice full eyebrows and really long hair. And even like the hair itself, as well as those eyebrows, have a little bit of additional afforded blue. That's really nice. I love this smile though. Even look at this statue, makes me happy. You may not see the smile on my face, but you can certainly see it on Electra's. I like also that they added a little bit of gray just around the sides of her, of her teeth, just to give it a little bit of shadowing. It adds a little bit of extra much-needed depth, if you ask me. 
carefully, carefully spinning the statue around so you can see the back there. She's got the bandana painted nicely with some additional darker gray, adding a little bit of much needed shadowing there. The hair doesn't really get a whole lot of extra coloring. You see more of it really from the front. I'm guessing more so the light's hitting this way. So again, like the back of it is really just kept to the simple black. But again, you've got this nice shadowing. You would think normally that a white clad costume character, wow, I just threw out a whole bunch of C's there in a second. You would think that they would have very little in the way of paint, but actually quite the contrary here. All the things that would normally not have light hitting it then start casting its own shadow. So you can see the back of it there on the bandana. You can see it on the strap on the back of the bandana. And you can most definitely see it on the back of her, uh, back of her outfit. You can see right there, a very stark line of dark gray. My only real disappointment in this is the fact that that is that little broken piece I mentioned before there. I really wish that that wasn't broken. At least knock on wood, this whole piece hasn't broken off. I kind of reluctantly paused to say that because I didn't want to jinx the matter. But luckily that has remained relatively undamaged. Um, I really don't want to worry about that being something that's going to break off. And again, like this is something a little bit more susceptible of breaking. So even though like, again, these statues are a little bit smaller in design, you will want to be a little bit careful when having them held in hand. Speaking of holding things in hand, I almost like plan these segues. You can see, yes, the pair of Psy in her hand. This is one, again, opportunity on their part to incorporate some much needed color. Because again, like when you're looking at the cost costume coloring, it's all basically that white that we talked about, that little bit of dark gray. I do think the Psy add a lot to the mix by adding some much needed incorporated almost blue and a little bit of purple. It might actually even be the same color that they use for the back of this. And yet somehow, when you've got it with the blue, it comes across a little bit more purple in design. It is really a nice looking statue. Limited again to release. This one was only released at a very limited number of 250. Although it probably obviously wasn't the case that if you were able to go to the convention last year, 2020, San Diego Comic-Con, you may have had then the opportunity to pick this one up. Clearly that wasn't probably the case last year. And let's hope maybe this year things can get rectified. The only way again, Electra was available in this outfit like this was through the convention exclusive. At the time, again, what, when it was initially released, Electra for, for her limited run of 250, she was priced tagged at around 49.99. I don't think that the price has stayed the same. I would imagine people probably picking this one up and add to their collection and selling them online. The price is probably going to be a little bit higher than initial 49.99. But I do think if you are a big fan of the animated style of characters that Gentle Giant continue to put out, and you are a big fan of Electra. I think there is definitely a lot of merits here to picking up the convention exclusive. Not only is she just a happy looking character, but she's also done in that white outfit. And I think that's a really nice touch. A little bit of breakage won't get this humbled reviewer down. As you can clearly see, looking at the statue on the left, turning around and looking at the box located on the right, there was definitely an extension piece that came out from her leg. She's got that little leg strap piece. It went up and I've still got that, but the little piece that goes down seems to have been broken along the way. I don't know if it broke at the factory. I checked in the styrofoam tray where she was prisoned inside and there was no extra piece in there. So again, I don't really know what happened to it. Again, at least most of it is still intact. Thank goodness at least the, the little strap piece from her headband is still intact because I think I would be a little bit more disappointed with that breaking off. Again, when you look at this, you can't just help but smile. She is definitely enjoying herself, leaping up in the air, and again, a nice touch by continuing the color of that black base, carrying up and attaching to the bottom of her foot. I mean, when you look at it from the back, you can see it. When you look at it from the front, it really looks like she's barely touching that display base, just sort of on her tippy toe. And I think that's really fun. She, of course, has sigh in hand, not size in hand, sigh in hand. And she does have some really bold black panel lining, which is the one thing, again, I really have been liking so much about this animated treatment of statues that Gentle Giant have been putting out. I think, again, up to this point, I probably have, I'm trying to count in my head, one, two, three, four. I think I have probably like now five in my collection. Um, I really should be getting and picking up more of these because I think they're just fun, cute little characters. And Electra here is no different. What do you guys think of the Electra San Diego Comic Con 2020 exclusive? Again, a big thank you to the folks over at Diamond Select that took the time and provided the sample that we had a look at in this review. Again, if you're interested in picking this one up for yourself, she's of a limited run, very, very limited run, at 250 worldwide. Ouchie. 
but she is still available, I'm sure. You could probably check around in places like eBay and other maybe online sites might still be your best efforts to maybe pick this one up and add it as part of your collection. If you are new to this channel and you're enjoying all the content you're seeing, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I don't mean to pressure you, but I just want to do maybe sweeten the deal a little bit by telling you this channel offers up brisk iced tea round the clock. Well, not round the clock. I do have to sleep at some point. Brisk iced tea, the occasional Rice Krispie treats. And I like to think along the way is a whole lot of fun as well. Speaking of fun, we are going to be having a look at some more statues, some Diamond Select releases, Gentle Giant releases, a whole bunch of releases all coming your way. So keep your peepers ever peeled to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.